Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian from USA.Patriot.Cards. Title of this video is Color Me Up. That's right, I'm talking color match, I'm talking prism basketball, and I'm talking NBA playoffs. A couple of the games have already happened. Lakers moved on, Hawks moved on, Oklahoma City moves on. So we'll see who gets eliminated tomorrow night. And then we'll get down to business. I said in my earlier video a couple days ago, I love the Kings out of the West. I'm pulling for the Knicks in the East, but more probably realistically, I think it might be Boston. But I really think the Kings have a chance to come out of the West. I really think this could be the coming out party for one certain player who I've put a rather, rather significant bet on. Let's get right into it. This is my mail day. This is the player I'm after. I've been on a buying hiatus woo, for about since the last show when I sold all those slabs that I talked about in a prior video. But I popped my cherry with this guy, D. Aaron Fox. He's 25 years old. You might know him. You might not. He plays out in Sacramento. And let's be honest, Sacramento Kings are not a nationally known or a nationally televised team. That's why I think it's going to be a coming out party for De'Aaron and for DeMontis Sabonis and for Keegan Murray. I mean, do you guys know who Keegan Murray is? Set the rookie three-point record this season. Malik Monk, Kevin Herter, Mike Brown's the coach. I just think this kid is special. His card prices have been going up all year. But I still think there is a lot of room for them to go. That's why I jumped in before the playoffs. I picked this up. This is gorgeous. It's a blue ice. I'm a huge fan of the prism blue ice. 90 out of 99. I think the, the pop count on this is, and a, and a PSA 10 is around 25. It's not a true color match as the Kings are purple and black, but I have a soft a soft space in my heart for the, for the blue eyes. I really just think they're so gorgeous. Can you imagine this being a Luka Doncic? I will one day. I'm going to show you. One day, I'm going to have a Luka blue eyes PSA 10 in my hands. I'm going to be twirling that like this, showing you guys. But for now, I'll ride with Fox. I have... Four other Fox cards coming in. They'll be trickling in this week. I'll show them to you as they come in. Uh, I really just want to take a minute and just and just say how much I love color match prism. Uh, I remember maybe 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 right right at the cusp of the boom. Uh, my friend Josh was telling me uh, about. He showed me a red eyes Trey Young prism, and he was like, "Check this out, man! It's pretty cool, it's, it, and it matches the team color." And I thought, "So?" I was like, "Really? That's a thing? Like people care about like matching the team color with the card? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard." I always thought jersey numbers were kind of tricked up and and not my thing. I would never. Well, maybe now I would. It depends on the card. I definitely, for a 77 out of 99, I'd pay premium for that on Luca. But more or less, I'm not really looking to pay up for, for a jersey number card, you know, of a player. Uh, but a color match, I've done a full 180 on that from thinking it's stupid to, to frankly, that's all I, that's kind of my lane now, especially as I'm rebuilding my collection moving forward. I mean, like I said, I haven't bought anything since, let's see, when was the show? Was the show February, I guess? Yeah. No, March. The show was in March. I sold a crap ton of slabs, like 18K. And then I just have been sitting. But I really, really, really went in hard on De'Aaron Fox. And you'll see as the week moves forward, this was a big purchase. And then I bought four of his purple uh, color match. Now the purple is out of 75, so those aren't cheap either. Um, they, they're not extremely, you know, like I'm not talking about, like these aren't crazy high cards, I'm, but I'm thinking they, you know, depending on how the, the Kings do, depending on how he does, uh, they're just the type of cards that could take a nice jump forward. And um, 
I'm just happy, you know, to to be in the deer and fox game. Uh, a lot of guys will buy cards and look to to sell them quickly um, as soon as they, uh, you know, see a jump in price, or whatever. So, so they they'll buy the card not for a fear of missing out on owning the card, but for a fear of missing out on the money that could be made. Where I really take a different ap approach. I have a fear of missing out on being able to get this at the price point that I got it. I have a fear of missing out on getting his purple prisms at the at price points that I got them. I want to own these cards. Now, I understand that you have to get off cards. You can't keep them forever. That's why I would call myself a collector, a pure collector. I'm a pure collector. Um, because I, matter of fact, if, if I did see a gain in some of this stuff, I'd want to trade. I wouldn't want to necessarily sell it. I'd want to trade it into other cards that I want to have. So, um, if you are like that too, then I would say you're a collector too. I mean, you could be a mix, you know, there's a spectrum. Maybe you could be predominantly a, um, somebody who's concerned with money. Like my friends, uh, most of my friends are in it and out of it and then take the money and they go buy more cards to get in it and out of it. And then they just kind of build a little purse, um, but they don't stay in the cards long if there's a chance to get out. I mean, I like to, I, you know, I like to collect I, I, this. This thing is I want to say, you know, I want to see him do well this uh, postseason and then I want to. Uh, ride with this probably for a couple seasons. See if he can establish himself as one of the young uh, top guards in the NBA, which I think he can. You know, playing out west, like I said, he he doesn't get a lot of attention. Um, I'm not sure how many people know how good he is or how how good he's gotten. Uh, one of the things that I keep reading over and over about De'Aaron Fox is how good he's become over the past season and a half. He's taken a lot of steps forward, so I'm really hoping that this will be um, this will be a spotlight for him and the Kings, and that they can show everybody how good they are and specifically how good he is. And then this car doubles, and instead of selling it, I flex it or trade it. That's that's the dream scenario. The reason I have uh, silver here is just because I wanted to do a quick. Um, I don't know. It's it, I, I'm not a financial advisor. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not. I mean, if you see that there's a sports card on my table, you'd know I'm not a financial advisor. But I do think that if you're looking to hedge a little bet or maybe just protect some money, uh, I think silver, physical silver, is a good play. Um, I have I have a couple different options here. This is a JM Bullion. This is a 10 ounce. JM Bullion is one of the uh, top online dealers. Um, not sponsored by any. This is just a, a friendly, hey, this is what I'm doing. I uh, thought I'd maybe share it with you type scenario. Okay, so there's no sponsorship here, clearly. Uh, but I did, uh, I do have some of these. Uh, they're 10 ounce. Um, these are 10 ounce bars. Uh, they're stamped by JM. JM is a company out of Dallas. Um, let's see. I'm not even sure if this is, yeah, this is still, this is what you'd call sealed, I think. Um, I could just, I mean, I don't think it, it doesn't matter um, if I cut this open and showed you. I'll leave it sealed, but whatever. Uh, this here is a 100 ounce bar. So I don't know if you know much about the precious metals space, but uh, silver has a spot price that moves up and down, um, and the spot price is what everything is based off of. So right now, I think the spot is around twenty-six dollars and eight cents, which is half of the all-time high of uh, fifty dollars in nineteen eighty. Think about it. What? What? Can you think of one thing that is half price of what it was in nineteen eighty? There's a lot of conspiracy behind why the, the price of silver is so cheap. We won't get into that here, but it does it does seem a little weird that uh, silver is so cheap and it's half of where it was in the 80s, in 1980 to be specific. I mean, everything's gone up. Uh, more money has been printed than um, I can even care to mention, but, uh, but yet silver still remains. Uh, on sale is, is, is typically how I would describe it. But 
the okay so you pay a premium depending on the product over the spot so i think for a 10 ounce bar you're looking at um so 26 is spot price and that's per ounce so 10 times 26 260 and then you might pay like two or three dollars per ounce over spot so that would be like three dollars over spot let's say 10 10 ounces that's 30 bucks so this would be about 290 dollars right now under current market market conditions uh the higher you go the less of a premium you're gonna pay. So on the 100 ounce bar, you know, that's gonna be $2,600. And then the, the the premiums might be $2. So another, uh, instead of instead of $3, uh, because it's more um, weight. So let's say uh, $2,600 and then 100 times two is 200. So that'd be $2,800 for this 100 ounce bar. And here's where things get really wild. This is the PSA 10. Of, uh, of physical silver. These are American Silver Eagles. This is, what year is this? This is a 2017. They're gorgeous coins, they really are. This is minted obviously by the US Mint. These are minted by the companies that sell them. I'm not sure. I, I forgot what uh, company did the the hundred ounce bar. This is a JM Bullion uh, bar here, ten ounce bar. These are U.S. constitutional money coins. So this actually has a face value of one dollar, which you see right here. Find silver one dollar. So um, these are going to be a lot more short printed, if you will. Um, matter of fact, there is a huge run on the Silver Eagles at the moment. So dealers jack up the premium on these coins so that uh, I think I, the last Silver Eagles I bought, I got it 44 each. And that was when the spot price was $25. So we're talking $19 in premiums, uh, which a lot of silver stackers will tell you it's way too much to pay don't buy silver eagles are the worst buy you can you can make when it comes to silver i'll argue that uh just like a psa 10 you're going to pay a premium for it but it's the it's the least available in the market and it's the most demanded and so if you just stick with that premise of what's the most uh coveted and the least available what's the what do people want the most and what is there the least to get PSA 10s, Silver Eagles. So just a few options for you. I don't, you know, I, I'm not saying the world's going to end. I'm not saying there's going to be a huge run on the banks. I'm not saying there's not going to be that either. But I think that uh, silver is criminally low right now. It's a good opportunity to get in and, and at least protect some of your uh, dollars that you have in the bank just on the off chance that, you know, there's a bail-in. Do you know what a bail-in is? A bail-in is when the bank loses so much money that it starts to use the deposits, right? Your dollars that you've deposited into the bank to cover its losses. And it's real and it was signed into law. And so they can do that. Uh, I'd rather have silver in my hands than be paying for some bankster's uh, mistakes. That's just me. Let's go deer and fox. I'll share the rest of the, the purples as they come in. Go grab you some silver. Um, if you're local to Dallas, Dallas Gold and Silver Exchange is a great company. And uh, they have locations all over the Metroplex. I don't know. Tell me, are you, are you a silver stacker? Are you a gold stacker? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm on to something? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Go Kings. We'll see you on the next mail day, which could be tomorrow. All right. See you next time. Bye.